Why did the Tzemach Tzedek wear different garb than the other Rebbeim? That's simply not factual. In the picture, he's wearing a different garb, and that's uh, you have to ask the artist. The Rebbe's Rishimis, which are the private conversations between the Friedrich Rebbe and the Rebbe, which have been published since Gimel Tammuz, and as you know, one of the richest, the most exciting sections of those Rishimis are what's called Rishimis Ayuman. It's a journal. The Rebbe, the Friedrich Rebbe, kept a journal about his life. Our Rebbe didn't keep a journal about his life. He kept a journal only about his conversations with the previous Rebbe. And when he came to America, the journal stops. In other words, the last 10 years, when the Rebbe was with the Friedrich Rebbe so much, if he wrote down those conversations, they've never reached us. Either they're hidden or they were destroyed. They're probably never written. And I would imagine that the reason the Rebbe didn't, have, didn't write his journal in America is for two reasons. Number one, he didn't have time. And number two, the conversations that he and the Rebbe had were not for public consumption. In other words, the Rebbe wrote a journal, and it was preserved, and it was published. Now, I know there's different cheetahs in Chabad about it, but if the Rebbe felt that we shouldn't have it, I guarantee you we wouldn't. And the fact that we have it is that I itself, that there's at least room, and I'm not getting into the controversy, for it to be before him in one way or another, because the Rebbe is a balabos over his Dalai Lama's. And in the Rebbe's journal, it says that the Alter Rebbe wore and Shabbos and Yom Tif, big day lover, and like that he's all did. Though that white silk, it was white silk, she took in a white streimel. The Alter Rebbe did, the Mittler Rebbe did, and Semach Tzedek did. In fact, we know this, the Shima, when the Mittler Rebbe was arrested, one of the details of the story, which is so poignant, is that he dressed in big day Shabbos, he put on those white silk Streimel and the white silk begodim, and he looked like a king. And he looked so regal, he looked so good, that people were afraid that the government would feel uh, challenged by him as though he were an independent ruler. And people advised him not to dress so regally. And he said, no, no, I insist. And he came into the best, and he came into the court, him into the mishpat, and he made such an impression with his entrance that he absolutely befuddled his opposition. The Rebbe Marash wore Lovan on occasion. That's just the Rishima. Sometimes he wore, sometimes he didn't wear Lovan. The Rebbe Rashab said, that I'm not right to wear Lovan. I'm not fit to wear white. Um, maybe I'm saying the wrong Lush. And the bottom line is the Rebbe Rashab didn't wear the Lovan. That's where it stopped. I met a Yid once, a wonderful, wonderful Jewish man, the Shabbos in my home, who was about Shuvah involved in Kirov, a very beautiful person. And he wore Bidi Lovan on Shabbos. And he went to 770 and he enjoyed 770. And he asked me why we don't wear Big Day Lovan. So I told him this, and he was disappointed. Because that is all right, supposed to be the Lovan and Shabbos. And uh, why we're wearing black. But this is the history, this is the story. The Rabbeim wore Big Day Lovan, the Alter Rebbe, the Mitla, the Tzemach wore Big Day Lovan. The Rebbe Marash wore it sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes no, and the Rebbe Rashab didn't want to wear it. Mm-hmm.